So, this is uh, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is uh, First Avenue and uh, 11th Street on the east side of New York City. That's Manhattan for the people who are in a different country. Uh, this masjid, not the building, but the masjid, uh, was established about 35 years ago. This is called Masjid Medina. Uh, one of the most uh, well-known uh, masjids, mashallah, here uh, in New York City. There, there. Okay, this is the better, this is the better, right here? Yeah. Good. Yeah, so, um, uh, for 35 years, they have maintained the legacy of five prayers a day. Uh, you know, Juma to Juma, uh, and to um, the Eids and the Ramadans, and servicing the Muslims and providing them with inspiration and guidance uh, based upon the Quran and the Sunnah. And on, it's typical on a Friday, uh, I, they might have two Jummas. It's typical for them to have five or six hundred people each congregation, uh, uh, which is it's a great legacy for 35 years. And may Allah bless all of those people who were the pioneers in establishing this masjid. And, and I ask Allah to give me the benefit of their lives and what they contributed, uh, being a colleague of that era. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the reason why I'm in New York City right now. Uh, I'm in New York City right now uh, for the purpose of meeting and greeting um, Muslims and non-Muslims and talking about the sentiment of September 11th. And, you know, we're not going to talk about September 11th, because this is 20 years later. We're going to talk about the sentiment. Uh, and in addition to talking about that sentiment, uh, we're going to walk a little bit. Yeah, in, in addition to talking about that, uh, mentioning that sentiment, uh, we want to talk also about uh, the issues of social responsibility as it applies to the Muslims. And, you know, I want to point out a couple of little things. Uh, one, is that there are one million Muslims in this city. One million, that's what Bloomberg says. A reliable, you know, like, uh, uh, media source. They say there's one million Muslims in this city. So, with one million Muslims in this city, let's put this within context, that um, those Muslims should have a reasonable amount of leverage, clarity, leadership, um, combination of resources, but unfortunately we don't. We have over 400 massages, close to 400 massages, Islamic centers, schools uh, in this city. But unfortunately, um, our influence, our, um, um, our, our presence uh, is, is not much uh, appreciated or well understood uh, because this resource that we have has not been brought together. And from a religious point of view, it might be difficult to bring it together. You know, persuasions and schools and medhabs and leaders and countries and cultures and so forth. But it's okay. It's New York. It's New York. But at the same token, um, through, through business and technology, uh, there's a way that we can have some type of reasonable um, solidarity, uh, a coalition to provide uh, services and a higher quality of life uh, and a higher quality of life for uh, not just for Muslims, but for our neighbors and our family members, uh, uh, other New Yorkers, and for that matter, for the people in this country who need to have that kind of understanding and appreciation of what it is to be a Muslim and, 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 and what actually is the Islamic belief. Uh, so um, we're here to discuss uh, the premises of, uh, uh, of a purpose, community, coalition. But on the way, we're discussing the sentiments of 9-11. On the way, uh, we're discussing the responsibility of the Muslims. And, and on the way, we're meeting and greeting with people and, and hearing what they have to say and their impressions. And it's about uh, each one, teach one, and giving something back and forward, and having something to, uh, having something to give back uh, uh, to this country who gave to us so much. And there's a group of brothers here for a minute. You don't mind? Uh, I think it'd be good for me to interact with these brothers. Good. Because you're going to cut that later on anyway, right? I keep going.
my, my West African brother. Huh? Right? Echoes. Sound like. How you feel? Brothers, look. Uh, oh, Medina, Delhi shop. So, so this shop here belongs to one of the brothers over there? I'm sorry, how you feel, brother? You alright? Just relax. Just meet me on uh, meet me down at World Trade Center uh, 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. And you don't have to do no talking. Just be there. Just make dua. I'm just going to be making a statement on behalf of myself, my family, uh, Islam, the Muslims of this city, Muslims of the country. Make sure the people who down there understand that we didn't have nothing to do with what happened 20 years ago. Next thing is that we here to give something back to the country that give to us something. That's what all I'm talking about. Whoever like to be there, be there. If you can't be there, I'll be online. You know what I mean? If you can't be online, I'll be there. You know what I mean? Get eager, my brother. Take one. Just relax. Okay, take one, my brother. And um, everybody got one? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So the, uh, my friends call me Sky. Some people say Sheikh Khalid Yassin, but you know, but my friends is like too long. Say Sheikh Khalid Yassin, say Sky. So my kids, granddaughter, they call me Sky. And that's okay, you know, because sometimes people, when you say Sheikh Khalid, people get all messed up, you know what I'm saying? But if you just look up the sky, you, you know, everybody, you know, we all benefit from that. So, brothers, if, look, I know y'all brothers is getting money. One thing I know about the African brothers, wherever they at, they be getting money. Other people don't, but they be getting money. So just join us. I'm not asking for no money. Just join us. And you ain't going to miss no money because if there's people going to be gathered, they're going to want to eat, right? If they want to eat, I give them your number or DoorDash or however y'all Uber Eat or whatever it is. So we keep our money flowing, but at the same token, we support because I don't know how many Africans or Asians or Arabs or Muslims in this city that's willing to go down to the World Trade Center dressed like Obama with a red beard and give a message to the country. I don't know who can do that, but I can. So if y'all can show up, that would be beautiful because at the end of the day, a general, he ain't got no army, he will be well respected because he got on the uniform, right? Police, he way he trying to bring order and enforcement in the area where he don't get no backup. After a while, he ain't gonna, you know, it's not good, right? So uh, I appreciate y'all, brother, man, because if you name me a country where you're from, I've been there. Because that's where my roots live, West Africa. I got a wife from East Africa, Somalia, and and uh, and, uh, and and uh, what's the other one? Ethiopia. So I, want, I took care. Of, I took care of East Africa that way. But my my what, my people from we from West Africa, Ecuador. And, and so I, I thank y'all, brothers. I'm blessed, man. Y'all y'all can't come. Make do our go online. Scan that scan that QR code there. So you can just go right online and be right there and uh, may Allah bless y'all. Just make dua for the old for the OG. You know the OG? Huh? You know the OG, right? Make dua for the OG. And try to be with me on Saturday. Okay? So I'm like, hey, hey, can you, uh, listen, y'all wanna take a picture together? But one of y'all might get rich and then I'm gonna say, hey, that's the one. He was right there. Come on, let's take a picture out here. Huh? Come on. Y'all ain't, ain't no police looking for y'all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, any of y'all being wanted or something like that? I don't want to get you trapped off. Me, I'm gonna. Yeah. Hey, they've been, they've been looking for me since I was in the cradle. You know, when I was in the cradle, they was looking for me. So I ain't worried no more. <laughs> they, they, you know what I'm saying? Like Musa, they slam, right? Yeah. They was looking for him when he was where? Yeah. In the cradle. Yeah, let's take a picture. This is my West African brother. Hey, that's my grandson. Oh, wow. He Muslim. So I say something. Like, Look, slam. Yeah. 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 What's your name, Akhi? It's Muhammad. Hadi. MashaAllah. And what's, the, what's your name, Akhi? Salifu. Huh? Salifu. Salifu. MashaAllah. Adam. MashaAllah. What's your name, brother? Muhammad. Muhammad. See, two Muhammads. MashaAllah. Tabarakallah. MashaAllah. And who is this brother? Akhi, what's your name, Akhi? Another Muhammad. Look at that. <laughs> Abdul Rahman. One of the best names. They say, it's Muhammad. I said, what's, it, what's his name, Baghdad? Akhi, what's your name? Ismail, so I just need up another Ismail back yeah, over there. Ismail is over there. There he is, over there. Go ahead, go ahead. May Allah bless Akhi, mashallah. You know what, Akhi, hey, where's my, where's my, where, oh yeah, Akhi, these brothers is going to buy lunch for us. I already know that. Come on. <laughs> you, you catching it from the side? Yeah, may Allah bless y'all. Y'all get it?
talking, meeting, breathing, exchanging, you're talking about business and how you feel, where you work at, what you're selling. That's what we're doing. That's what the message got to be. Brotherhood, leadership, unity, empowerment, get money, and get control. You can't be just talking about praying and going back home. Home is where you are. Right or wrong. Once you get to America, that's what I tell people. This is what America do that no other country do. When people get here, they be thinking back, back home, right? But after about three years, what they thinking about? Right here. That's America. I want to fight with that. Huh? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I can see what I'm telling you. This is the Muslims. This is how the Muslims do out here. Come on, man. Come on. So that's people uh, huh? say the final thing, like, leave this Saturday in the door. Oh, out, outside or right here? Oh yeah, our brothers and sisters, just by the way, uh, meet us on Saturday. Um, you know, we're going to start our program off at 10 o'clock in the morning at the World Trade Center. You know, we're going to be in that area from like 7 o'clock, having coffee, breakfast, ironing out the wrinkles and plan for what we have to do and putting our logistics and stuff together. But we're meeting in the World Trade Center area just to talk about the sentiment and deliver a message uh, to the Muslims about responsibility. Then we're moving on from that point and we're going uh, up to Times Square, 2 o'clock. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we're going to Times Square at um, 12 o'clock. You're going to post, tell them, you're gonna post all the information up? Oh yeah, just hit that QR, uh, QR code and you'll get all the other information to be there. Uh, so that's Saturday morning, all day Saturday, where we were, and then ending up at the Barclays Center that evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, uh, be there, uh, get the information. Uh, scan that, that QR code and uh, we'll see you there, inshallah. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.